What's up, everybody? We just got a new sci-fi movie from none other than Gareth Edwards, who pretty much made Rogue One, you know. Tony Gilroy came in and touched it up a bit, but that is truthfully a movie that Gareth made. But today, I'm here to talk about his new movie, The Creator, a brilliant yet terrifying movie that I can't wait to dive into, and there will be spoilers for that movie in this video, so if you haven't seen it yet, this is a time that I highly recommend you don't watch this video until you have, and you can come on back to it once you've seen the movie, and have a great day. I'm going to start just with a quick rundown of the story, then we'll get into my full thoughts. It starts with Joshua being undercover in the robot camp in New Asia as he's married to a human within them, Maya. The U.S. attacks before he can learn the identity of the creator, and then we jump five years later, and he has nothing to live for until Colonel Howell brings him back, telling him Maya is still alive. He gets back into New Asia, finds Alfie, or Alpha O, as the robots call him, and he kind of takes her under his wing unwillingly. They go on a mission to find the creator who ends up being Maya, and I love this twist in this story. Also, on this journey, it's revealed that the nuking of Los Angeles which is like the whole reason for this war, wasn't actually the fault of the robots, but instead it was the Americans as there was faulty programming. But anyway, they get to her location after Alfie is injured in battle and find out that she's been on life support since the attack on New Asia in the beginning of the movie. Joshua has to be the one to pull the plug because the, uh, the robots, they're all programmed to not be able to take, uh, kill their creator or harm her, and... After that, he and Alfie go to take down Nomad, the United States' big weapon. They successfully take down Nomad, but Joshua is stuck on the space station as it goes up in flames, sacrificing himself for Alfie to live. It was a truly beautiful story and ending to the movie. This movie was driven by some outstanding performances, and now I want to acknowledge some of the best, in my opinion, really quick before we move on, but these were the truly great performances to me. Those being led by John David Washington, who continues to prove himself as a top-tier talent in Hollywood. From his very first scene to his last, you feel every bit of his experience, and it might be the single most important thing to this movie. Gemma Chan, who plays his wife and the creator, was also solid in her limited screen time, but the final scene of the movie, or like one of the final scenes, is where she truly shines as one of her robot selves perishes with Joshua. Ken Watanabe portrays one of the robot fighters, and he's great in this movie too, coming over with Gareth Edwards from the Godzilla franchise, and this couldn't have been a better idea for this movie's sake, because his sacrifice is also one of the most memorable scenes in the movie. And then maybe the most impressive performance, Madeline Yoon of Loyals, I hope I said that right, she portrayed Alfie, and this is one of the better child performances I've seen in any movie. The emotion and humor she brought to this role were tremendous between her and Ken. You genuinely feel for these robots, which is a great accomplishment by everyone involved in making this masterpiece. Then I want to finish this review just going over everything I liked a lot that I haven't talked about yet. I'll start with the humanization of the robots since I just slightly touched on it during the actor portion. They make a creative decision to give these robots normal like human voices and Elfie even cries towards the end of the movie and I thought this was absolutely brilliant. I personally don't despise like AI and all the robots take over the world stuff but that doesn't mean it doesn't scare the shit out of me and this movie made me shed a damn tear for them. The power that takes is hard to reach but Gareth Edwards and his team of talent made it happen and I applaud that. I also just love the overall vibe of the movie. The way I think I could best describe it would be a mix of Rogue One and elements of George Lucas's original trilogy and the Call of Duty Ghost campaign. Edward's love for Star Wars shines as an inspiration for this movie and I loved how he, uh, how he incorporated it not by stealing from it but by embracing it and using it as inspiration for some of his designs and really just the movie. Then the state of LA is what really made me feel the Call of Duty ghost element, and also that final stretch where Joshua's in space is very reminiscent of that early mission in Ghost where you're in space. And finally, I love the balance and tone throughout the entire movie. It knew exactly when to pull on your heartstrings and when to make you laugh out loud. This is a concept I think it would be easy to lean too far one way or the other in that regards for, 
but in my opinion, it's perfectly balanced and both elements are incredible. Overall, this movie has immediately become my favorite of the year so far, taking that throne from Oppenheimer. I'm going to see it multiple times in theaters and maybe my reaction to that is uh, too soon. Maybe it is really the best, maybe it's not. But as always, I want to know what you guys thought about the movie, so let me know your thoughts and rating for it down in the comments below. Make sure you have a great day.